So today we are looking at the decision theory. Every day we make decisions. Decision about our families, decision about our marriage, decision about our future, decision about our career. So we have decision theory. Now, when you look at the decision theory, we want to look at, number one, the meaning, then the types of decisions, and then once we look at the types of decision, we will come to uh, the meaning of the decision. So, first and foremost, what do you mean by decision theory? It is a process of choosing an alternative course of action when a number of alternatives exist. So, in decision theory, we have different alternative course of action, but you choose only one alternative out of the several alternative course of action. Decision making is an everyday process in life. So every day we are making decisions. You wake up, you're making decisions. You're sleeping, you're making decisions. So decision is a continuous process. It refers to a range of econometrics and statistical tools for analyzing an individual choices. So this involves econometrics and statistical tools for analyzing individual choices. In other words, it lets the entity make the best logical decision possible when dealing with uncertainty and unknown circumstances. Analysts call it the theory of choices, relying on beliefs, attitudes, and desires. So in our decision-making process, we must make the best logical decision, which is not ideally, idealist or ideal, idea ideological but the decision we are making must be based on the beliefs we believe in the attitudes that we have in our mindset and the desires what are you desiring so decisions are determined decisions are made in an uncertain and known environment the environment that you're dealing with is uncertain it is unknown you want to make a decision, you're making a decision under econometric and statistical tool, using econometric and statistical tool. But the decision that you're making is based on beliefs, attitudes, and desires. So decision is a critical component in our day-to-day -day life. Every day we are making decisions. Every now and, and then we are making decisions. Managers are making decisions. Marketers are making decisions. Financial analysts are making decisions. Operational are making decisions. Logistical and um, logistical and uh, supply chain managers are making decisions. Sale managers are making decisions. So we live in an environment of decision. In the valley of decision, we must make decisions. Types of decision. There are normative decision theory and there are optimal decision theory. Now, what do you mean by optimal? No, no, we start with... Yeah, what do you mean by optimal decision making? This quantitative and qualitative method, often known as descriptive decision theory, examine the decision made by irrational people. Furthermore, this theory employs various framework, hypotheses, and functions to comprehend practical action that follow a set of norms. The theory analyzes how and why a person makes a decision, the reasons for that decision, when and where that decision was made, because location and time are crucial in decision making so when you talk about optimal the best decision that you make the critical decision that you make and the decision is based on how 
and why a person is making particular decision, when and where that decision is made. Two critical elements, location and time. Normative decision. This decision analysis theory analyzes the repercussion of ideal logical decision based on a set of values. It also decides the optimum course of action based on limited limits and assumptions. However, it does not consider other factors interfering with it. Instead, it deals with expected behavior, decision-making process, and the best potential outcome. This theory employs tools, procedures, and computer applications to arrive at an optimal decision. That is why it is called normative decision. Now, decision techniques. There are two techniques which are critical in decision making. One is tactical. Which decision are you making? Is it tactical or is it strategic? So, tactical decisions, they are those decisions which affect the business in the shorter run. So, any decision which is of short run are called tactical decision. Strategic decisions, they are those decisions which have far-reaching effect during the course of business. They are long-term decisions. These are decisions which are made mostly by business people. So, strategic decisions are more used than tactical decisions. The decision-making constitute of one of the biggest or highest form of human activity. So the most highly used information is the information about decision. The application of decision theory in mathematics, in economics, in business, in physiology, in biology, in psychology. So these are the areas which we apply. And then we have social science and data analysis. All these require um, decision theory. The question, shall I carry the umbrella today? That's a decision. The decision depends on something which I do not know, namely whether it will rain or not. Decision, uncertainty, unknown. Components of decision. Number one, decision maker. So we must have a person making decision. So the decision maker is in charge with the responsibility of making decision. That is, he has to select one form of set of possible course of action. Number two, we have acts, the course of action. Acts as the alternative course of action or strategies that are available to the decision maker. So the decision maker involves or selects among two or more alternative course of action. The problem is to choose the best of these alternative to achieve the objectives. Number three, events, state of nature. Events are the occurrence which affects the achievement of the objectives. They are also called state of nature. The event constitute mutually exclusive and exhaustive set of outcome, which describe the possible behavior of environment in which a decision is made. Decision maker has no control over the event, which will take place, can only at attach subjective probability of occurrence of each. And then number four, we have the outcome. Every act of combination, which every state of nature, there is an outcome or consequences. The outcome, also known as condition value, that is when the decision maker selects particular act and particular state of nature. Now, we want to look at the outcomes. There are two outcomes, payoffs. The payoff can, in, can be interpreted as an outcome in quantitative form, whether the decision maker adopt a particular strategy and particular state of nature. It is 
monetary gain or loss of outcome. Opportunity loss is a loss incurred because for failure to take the best possible decision, opportunity losses are calculated separately for each state of nature that might occur. So these are the in the decision theory. The these are the events, the activities which are carried out. So with the decision theory, you can make decision on informed economic and and statistical perspective. So we need to have this in mind. Decision theory will help us in decision making. Getting the rational decision, getting the reasonable decision, and all these decisions are anchored on beliefs, attitudes, and finally the desires. Thank you.